All right, okie dokie. So I thought I'd just jump on and, um, you know, it's currently the 9th, I think, of January. So we're just over one week down of the new year. So far going very well. Um, basically been sticking to everything I said I would do. The reason I kind of am doing this and what I want to speak about today, I'm just going to do this informally, kind of just off the top of my head, because if I try to use notes or stick to any points, like it's just going to be, it won't work. Um, there's a lot of people I looked up to, and one of them being this guy called Matt Kelly, who in the e-com world, he runs a brand called um, Space Goods. I think they do like a couple million revenue. And for a long time, he, you know, he missed out for a while, but something he did for a long time was he would post like one video a week, basically just like breaking down his mentality and how he was approaching his business, how everything was going. And I kind of want to do the same thing so that like on top of producing a piece of content um, on the kind of like fitness and, and just general side as well as I'm doing it also for, for crypto stuff as well. Um, I thought it would be good to look back in the year and it's, it's a really good way I find personally just to break down how I'm thinking, how I'm feeling. And after the first video I did where I spoke about um, my plans for the year, I actually had a lot of my friends reach out to me and, and say that they found it very useful um, or just interesting to be honest. So whether you like it or not, we're going to do it. It's going to be fun. Um, so yeah, this week's gone well. I mean, I've basically just been absolutely pushing myself to my limits the entire time like it's it's crazy how you know you hear the the rule about you know the time it takes you to do something always basically expands to the limit you put on yourself right so if you tell yourself you have to do it tomorrow you'll find a way to get it done and so the way i've been doing things is literally like i almost just like don't go to bed until i do everything and so that means that sometimes i go to bed at 2 a.m that that seems to be how it is right now and i wake up at somewhere between six and nine maybe around eight something like that um, but you know what, honestly, despite being slightly sleep deprived, I feel fantastic and I've not, I don't even eat for the majority of the day. Like I, I was at first, you know, having an, uh, a lunch around or a first meal kind of like early afternoon, but as the days have gone on and I've had more to do and things have been more stressful, but not in a bad way, in a good way. Like I just don't even eat until like five, six, seven, and then I just have like one or two meals then. And to be honest, I, it's something I used to do and low-key I feel a lot better doing that just like literally not eating for the whole day and then just having like a super big meal maybe an hour later I'll have another meal again so it's just like just squeezing it all into one one little thing um honestly I low-key prefer that um but it's been going really well it's been going really well um I had the privilege um of speaking with an extremely extremely successful trader yesterday um and the reason I wanted to bring this up is because it's crazy how the people that you look up to and you think that connecting with them is going to be, is somehow unattainable or not possible. It's crazy how if you just reach out and you really show that you're there and you want information and you want to learn, you know, you'd be surprised how willing these people are to help you because the people who've made it, the people you look up to, yeah, they're busy and yeah, like they might not have much time and you might think that because their time is so valuable, they don't want to help someone. But for them, like, and this is what the guy said to me yesterday, because I asked him, you know, why he actually gave me the time to speak to me and give me advice. He spoke to me for like three hours. Like it was crazy. I was writing everything down, just literally just like alpha the entire time, like straight knowledge the whole time. And it's, you know, it just kind of comes down to like being an eternal student um, and realizing actually that like he just wants to, to help other people at that stage where he's like made it, he's so successful, like why not? You know what I mean? So I hope to be able to do that. And that's why when I, I spoke in the last video, I spoke about doing this as a, as a way to Kind of grow a community of like-minded people but it's also like you know it's not that i've made it by any means and it's not that i know everything but i hope that someone who knows a bit less than me or is a bit less experienced than me can learn something right like the goal is always to to help people in some organic fashion right like there doesn't have to necessarily be an ulterior motive all of the time um but yeah work's been going really well i advise everyone to keep working hard train hard i'm not too stressed about training and gym and all that kind of stuff right now because with the the injury which by the way is healing super well like even after like i think we're, i'm nearly at the three week mark i'm at like two and a half and a bit and like I, I went from having a bullet hole in my knee to like it being closed up and it looking really good so um i think in a couple of weeks we'll be back to full training but right now just a little bit of training just to kind of maintain feel good for my mental do you know because i'm just like sitting down working all day on my laptop um but yeah, otherwise good. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, nah, I think that's the main stuff. But yeah, I'll try to do this like roughly once a week. I'm not saying it's necessarily gonna always be on a sun end of a Sunday um, each week, but 
I think just reflecting each week is probably a good thing. And you should probably do the same. You don't have to make a video publicly like this, but just look at your life and be like, what am I doing good? What am I not doing so good? And I think that if you actually do that over the course of the year, like regardless of like whether you're trying to set yourself a New Year's resolution or not, like you will definitely be better than you were before. And some people don't care about that. Some people do. It's something I care about. But at the end of the day, just live your life, whatever makes you happy. Do your thing, you know what I mean?